Hi right, Dan, I just recently received the Inakin Podding for review and it's broke. Cheers Dan, bye bye. Hi right, guys, not sure if you heard that, but I was on the phone to Inakin because my podding's broke. Now, I'm not going to hold on too much to that because I don't exactly know why it's broke. I've used it for a week, two weeks, I think it's just under two weeks, and I put it down for two days, picked it up after the weekend, and it won't turn on. It won't turn on. Um, so, I'm not quite sure if the liquid's leaked into it or if the battery's completely drained, because if batteries batteries drain too much, like in your phone or something, they generally have safety protections which stop the batteries completely dying. So in your phone when it's zero percent, it has actually got a bit of charge. And I reckon that might have what happened with this because I plugged it into the charger, it's not charging either. So you have to see. I phoned in again as you've just heard, and in again they've told me to go back to EC Click, which I'm going to, but I don't want really to put too much pressure on EC Click. I don't know, um, but I will keep it up to date in the comments or the description, probably the description. Yeah, I'll do an update in the description. We're also going to do a giveaway. The giveaway is going to be announced on Christmas Eve. And if I still like get it working or I ain't got a replacement, I will buy one and give it to you because I love you like that. Let's crack on with a review. Podding unboxing, got some spare coils there, they're 1.3 ohm, 8 time watt, slide it out, slide it open, I do love the Inakin type boxing, we've got the manual, we've got a very suave looking pod system, seems to have a button here and a button here, that button seems to be a pod release button, oh micro USB, Despicable. That's quite grippy and nice. I like the look of it. It looks pretty damn good. Bang the coil in. The first impressions are I'm liking it. And here we've got the lanyard and charger. We've got what I hope to God isn't. I'm not quite sure what it is, we'll find out during the review. We've also got a spare coil, very small coils, and a warning card. They say I'm not quite sure what it is, but we'll find out shortly. It looks like it goes into the pod. This is the charger. I don't know. We'll find out and we'll let you know. Hundred and sixty one by forty six by sixteen millimeters. It's got eight hundred milliamp hour battery. Kicks out at nine or eight watts. You can change it by pressing the button. Two mil e liquid capacitor and it can handle 0 0.3 to 3.5 ohms. With an O, not H. No pods have replaceable coils. It's got variable wattage, like I've just said. It's also I don't know if my camera will zoom because it's uh, focused because it's not that good. But here we've got a bit of adjustable airflow as well, which I couldn't tell a massive difference to, to be fair. It can be used on drawer activation or button activation. Over protection, charging protection, short, 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 short circuit protection, and overcharge protection. There is one more little thing I want to mention this little potty. There's podding down the side, and it looks like half a pod. Now this is because, well actually, no one knows what it's I don't know if you guys watched my Battlestar Baby Beast small ant review, but I had a USB lanyard charger, and this is the same. Unfortunately, unlike the small one, this is micro USB. I really like the device uh, when, well, when it worked. It provided great flavour, it provided a nice 
really good feel vape, um, after lung. It handled direct lung semi alright, but it's not de designed for that really. Uh, like I said, I don't think the variable airflow's that much of a difference. For someone that's not used to UG airflow, you might feel it a little bit more than I did. I think you could tell the difference between the 9 watt and the 8 watt, which is quite strange because I usually can't tell much of a huge difference. Now, the coils. I'm pretty sure at this time, or at least you want to get one type of coil. I think we should be a bit more variant, but to be fair, I have really liked the coil that it comes with. The flavour's great, like, I know I've just repeated that, but the flavour's great, the vape production's great. It's all good. It's a nice, decent size, fits in your hand just well. I'm still dying for it to work. I'm really dying for it to work. I really did like it. Um, like I said, if I can't get a return or anything, I'll buy you guys one to get it away. Because you need a Merry Christmas. So there you go guys, there's not much to say about it, uh, today has been massively wrong, this is not working, my camera's just died for absolutely no reason, even though I had full batteries, uh, people keep falling in there, so my head's a bit all over the place, so I'm sorry if I haven't been into too, de too much detail. The batteries by the way lasted me about a full day, uh, probably 16 hours, 14 hours, it's really good, it's very rare that I can use a pod system and not. I have to use my sub home, but this little beast managed to do that for me. So there you go, it can't be bad. I do know what else to tell you guys. I just don't. I want to thank Easy Click for sending me this. There isn't a written review because they said I didn't need to do one. So thank you for sending me anyway. Uh, I'll see if I get it replaced. If not, I'll send you a brand new one anyway. Or it might get working, who knows. A huge congratulations to the Evolution Vapes. You won. Uh, you won the Hellvip MD, MTL, RTA. <laughs> I like saying that. Hellvip MD, RTA, MTL, Vape. Anyhow, you won that. You need to contact me via Facebook or Instagram in regards to postage. Yes, you will have to pay. Sorry, I'm generous, but not that generous. I'm broke. I just got no money. It's Christmas. Um... As a course, this fat. If you want a chance to win the podding, you know what to do. Make sure you subscribe, comment down below. When you win, I'll announce it on the next video, which will be Christmas Eve, because I work my backside off for you guys. Um, sorry, my legs are really hurting. We legged it at gym yesterday, and I'm like, ugh. Um, so, yeah, congratulations. Uh, do your thing. Even if you don't want to win, comment down below and let us know what you think. Um, and then I'll let you know Christmas Eve, we won it. I'll probably won't post it till January, busy week and all. Um, the next review toy, which I've already started reviewing because it's a written review for EC Click, is the Zenith Pro MTL Tank. It's not a pod, it's a tank. Um, so you know what to do. I'm also starting a new channel guys, uh, I haven't uploaded anything to it yet, it's an old channel I started, but I'm now going to make it more of a personal vlog, uh, do some bits on there, uh, my miss is quite into the ghost hunting stuff, so hopefully we're going to do some of that, I'm a complete sceptic on it all, um, but anyway, check that out, that's uh, Harley Days UK on Instagram, Harley Days UK! A little bit of singing there for you. Um, sorry, I'm rambling. I'm just going to let you go. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. And most of all, don't forget to stay cloudy.